Greetings everyone, my name is Ettervale, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Cathedral. Continuing on from the last episode, I've entered the Desolate Mines in search of Renok. And as always, for full disclosure, I received the key from the developers in order to let's play this title. Wait, what? You're actually dangerous. This has the same soundtrack as Deep Jungle, so I suppose this will be more of a puzzle area. And I don't have a map to help me either. So I need to find Jarl's body. Those ghosts are probably of the dead miners. So there's something to the right of this mine shaft. Let's go there first. Yes, some treasure, nothing more. I have to go even deeper then. At least I think I'm making more progress compared to the deep jungle. So there's a vault located on the western side, the one that's locked off with a key.
I guess one of the gameplay reasons why this mine is filled with treasure is so I can earn enough to purchase the Oink's armor, or Onyx armor. I really hope that once I complete this place, there's an auto backtracking feature, and I don't have to backtrack all the way back up manually. There's a key. Left side mines, exit key. Then I can access the left side of the mines. I suppose if I die, I'll be taken back to the upper part. That's probably the speedrunner strat anyways. And last, we're out of this place. This was the most frustrating part of the desolate mines. I'm gonna try collecting as much treasure as I can before I end up dying. I'm just going to take the quick way back now. I guess you should be thankful that there isn't a checkpoint down there. Now let's see what's in the vault. Oh, we're out. That's good. Now we're taking all the way to the western part of Ice Peak Mountains. But I welcome this. I much prefer being outside than in the dark mines. And besides, the mountains are more interesting than the mines. And that explains why they were sealed off. The 
The person I'm looking for is probably over here, so once I get her, I'll backtrack over here. The Ice Peak Castle is located on the top of this mountain. Great, the elevator isn't working here. I need to find another way. The NPCs did mention that she lives close to Ice Peak Castle. This likely fixes the elevator, so I'll meet you back down over there. The elevator's working now. Ah, oh, there you are, Renok. Before I report back to him, let me activate this teleporter and immediately pay a visit to the graveyard. I need that password in order to access that shrine, and that shrine probably holds a very important item. Not sure if it's a mandatory item or an optional item, but regardless I want it as soon as possible. Well, that was different. I didn't expect to be taken to the past. At least it looks like the past to me. Probably have to go back to town. Or not, it's blocked off by a spike wall. Let's try this again, shall we? This time I'll climb upwards and see if there's anything up here. If not, I'll go back down that ladder. The upper side is blocked off, the right side is blocked off, I got killed by a zombie hand. As I was saying, the upper route is blocked, the left route is blocked, the right route is blocked, so I'm going to check the lower route now. 
And be careful. Everything one-shots me. I learned that the hard way. Magnus wants to protect the secret of this tomb very well, hence why it's filled with an influx of these dangerous enemies. There's one I need to access. I'm glad I'm going through this challenge after I got the upgraded sword. The word of the master is... Secret. Now I can access the hidden shrine. Ah, oh, this wall is open now. Or was it open before? Regardless, I can't access that area yet. Now I just need to return back to the mayor and see what they'll give me. And then once I'm done with that, I'll scale back up the mountain and reach the shrine. We're taking all the way up over here then. These are actually cannons? I thought they were just pillars. So that's how we destroy the blocks. I was hoping for an item, but I guess that works. And they actually travel right through the terrain itself. Oh boy, I have a lot to explore now, because so much of the place has been opened up now. As an example, remember over here? Now the path to the Shade Forest has been opened up again. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to comb through each one of the screens now, as well as that one room located in the Deep Mines, but I'll check that out later. I'll save that for the exploration episode. So I'll skip ahead to the places where I can destroy the ice blocks.
Let's see what's in this room. The next armor augmentation. Twenty-five percent chance to avoid being frozen by enemies. This should stack nicely with the plus fifty percent chance to avoid being frozen upgrade. And I'm back at the entrance of the shrine. Let me guess, that ghost is actually Magnus. Ice Peak Tower Shrine. This shrine isn't too big. I say that now, but things may change very soon. I need a different charm for this. If I had telepathy, I could have gotten up there. Let's check out the other side first, then. All these successive areas feel easier than a deep jungle. Of course, that's because this is better designed. Well, that works. The answer is that simple. I just need to destroy that block. Opens one gate.
Yet again, another set of breakable blocks. Note to self, hit everything with the sword. I should know this strategy by this point in the game. Well, that was remarkably straightforward compared with the western part of the castle. Onto the central part of the shrine. Can I get crushed against the walls on top of these blocks? I sure hope I don't find out. Oh, you're just the last disciple of Magnus. You're not actually Magnus. True Magnus Apparatus. The Magnus Apparatus has been restored to its former glory and now deals plus one extra damage. Perhaps it'll now be useful against enemies. I'll meet you outside the shrine then. I think this upgrade to the crossbow is technically optional, but I really want it. Alright, now it's useful. It five shots the harpies. Back at Renox's house. I knew there would be an extra reward here. Now off to Icebeak Castle. Well, I guess I have to access it from the other side then, because the cannonballs are on the right side. Uh, I have to take the long way back it seems. I think I figured out what the password is. It's actually 6482. I got confused with one of the clues. And of course, that's what a teleporter is. I was getting suspicious why there wasn't a teleporter in Tinkerton and put two and two together. I wish I figured this out earlier so I could teleport from the left side directly over to here. I've been meaning to open this for a while, but got sidetracked with everything else. Ah, uh, the Ice Lions are my least favorite enemy of this area. They cause so many problems. More so than any other enemy in the stage.
I kind of wish I had something like a charge shot or a bomb upgrade so I could deal with them more easily. My arrows are now useful, but I can only fire straight forwards with them. I'm more looking for an angled weapon. I'm not taking any chances. I'm right near the entrance of the castle. And there is an upgrade somewhere here. Probably another error upgrade. And lo and behold, there is the entrance to Ice Peak Castle. After taking so many detours, I finally made it. Even better, a new potion bottle. I was thinking it was going to be a max hero upgrade, but no, much better. However, I'll be saving Ice Peak Castle for the next episode. So to summarize, I found Renok, completed Board of the Trials, Unlock the cannons to destroy those ice blocks. Obtain the true Magnus apparatus in the hidden shrine. Unlock access to Tinkerton's teleporter. And reach the entrance to Ice Peak Castle. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Toodles!